this episode, Captain Steve receives an alien message, goes aboard an Atlas station and speaks to the Atlas, and then meets the chap with the biggest eyebrows in the universe. Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the view of us. Yes, I'm going to be shooting off. And, uh, yeah, this is episode something. Yeah, I think I've done like three. No, I think this must be episode four. Episode four. And we're following the Atlas path, my little peeps in the universe. Yeah, so bring your eye peepers this way, because we're off. We're off on an adventure, people. So, yes, we're going to be flying out, and we're going to be going to our uh, first Atlas station. Shione. I say first. I mean, I don't know. This could be the last. Who knows? First and last. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? If I get the Atlas seed right away. But I'm fairly confident it's not going to be that simple. This Atlas is going to want me to do something for it, isn't it? It's not just going to say, oh, thank you for popping in and saying hello and for a cup of tea. Here you go. Have an Atlas seed, my friend. No, this is going to be a freaking journey. I know it. I freaking know it. It's not going to be that easy. Heck no, it's not. Right. Oh, well, I, we're locked in. Can I jump there? No. It's slightly out of jump range. Dang it! Darn it and blast it. So it looks like I'm going to have to do an intermediately hop skippity jump. Yes, well we're popping to the actual station while we're here people and I will upgrade my exosuit because yes that's what I want to do mainly because I want to try and pad this thing out. Oh we've got an incoming communique have we? Right well let's hit on up that incoming communication. Oh Oh, brilliant! I've actually got a holographic projection on my dashboard! This is amazing! Like freaking R2-D2 when you meet Princess Leia in Star Wars for the first time. What amazing tech this is! I asked the stranger what's wrong. Exactly! That's exactly what I did! Yes! <laughs> you found me! Oh, its name's Artemis! Okay, right. Okay, hold on, hold on, one second. Its name's Artemis, right? Inside of the Nexus, we met all those chaps the other day. I'm fairly sure every single one of them, including this chap, their names are based on Greek mythology. And even the Atlas. The Atlas held up the freaking earth, didn't it, above its head. Greek mythology yet again. So somebody who programmed this is a serious freaking Greek mythology buff. You know what, I might have to do an episode where we walk around the Nexus and we look at each of the Greek mythology names and see if it's got any link to the way that those characters look. Anyhow, I'm going to press on on anyhow. That'll probably be episode maybe five or six. I don't know. When I get freaking bored for a moment and I want a breather. right oh. Okay, well, Artemis, we're coming to rescue thee. Don't you worry. You hang on there, my little friend. Right, well, he's being chased by 12 individuals that are rather scary. Okay, well... Don't you worry, don't you fret. I'm fairly sure we can rescue thee from your plight. Right, okay, well, let's head on inside of the station. Like I say, I'm going to upgrade my exosuit while I'm in here. Look to see if there's any navigational data left on tables. A little blue and orange cubes. And then I'm flying back out into space and pressing on with my mission. Oh, yes, blue, orange and cubes. And also these little sort of hockey puck-like looking things give navigational data. Or nanites! Yeah, so be sure to check those. They're just littered about on tables. You'll find them. Yeah, anyhow, I'm going to head on into the actual Atlas station right here. Okay, well, this looks a little bit freaking ominous. You know what? I'm going to take a freaking picture just in case this is the last you ever see of me. Yeah, so I can put this on milk bottles and cartons and things. Have you seen Captain Steve? You know, we know that Artemis has gone freaking missing, so I'm going to do this the right way. I'm being prepared. Let's fly on into... Holy fudge! Okay, can I reverse? No, I cannot reverse. I am kind of stuck now. I'm locked into going in. This is freaking scary as fudge. Okay, um, right, yes. I'm going to need new trousers now. Awesome biscuits. Okay, well, let's, um, let's land. And let's go. And, holy fudge, there's, there's freaking lightning going up to the blinking giant ball thing over there. Oh my days, this better be some sort of Faraday cage. I don't want to get freaking electrocuted. This is like one of Tesla's blinking experiments. I'm going to run around and tread on all these little balls. I've sped up the footage. It's, it's like it's like popping, like you know, bubble wrap. It was actually fun, but it didn't do anything. I have learnt one word, though. Okay, well, let's pick these up. Brilliant. Warp cells for me. I don't know whether I should be nicking things in front of this. You know, this is this is kind of like the god of the game, and I'm just nicking stuff off of its pedestals. You know, I don't know whether that powers the dang thing, but I'm having them anyway. <laughs> well, hello there, giant utility Oxalitads. I honestly thought this thing was called the Atlas. You know, uh, okay, brilliant. It now now it's called itself the Atlas. Okay, 
It demands worship. You can't just demand these things, matey. No, you've got to earn them. I don't know. I am slightly terrified, so you've got my attention that way. But you can't rule for your frickin' fear. But you know what? My rectum's telling me that, yes, I should. I should give you anything you frickin' want at this stage, my friend. Because it's, it's dribbling at the moment. Right, awesome. Yeah, that's too much information, isn't it? Right, we've got ourselves a captured nanode that I can craft out of chromatic metal that I don't freaking got. At least I don't think I've got any left. I think I turned it all into bloody warp fuel. Yes, yes, I did. But I have got some, I've got some copper left. So if I put this in there portable refiner brilliant oh fudge and heck that needs bloody chromatic metal to make it ah oh, chicken and egg chicken and freaking egg mate i need uh, i can't put down my portable no can't put down my um my, my one that i bring with me either great freaking awesome okay so that means i've got to land on a bloody planet well if i've got to land on a bloody planet i might as well just grab some more copper while i'm there because it looks like we need chromatic metal for a lot of bloody stuff right eh? awesome any more of those little bubbles to tread on here's one let's go stamp on that boom oh i learned another word traveler great i could have done with that before i interacted with that giant freaking bauble couldn't i because i didn't understand any of that gibberish at the start heck no i didn't be nice if you learned a whole shed load of words treading on these bubbles inside of this station so at least you understand the first freaking sentence that it says to thee i mean this is one of the most important moments of the freaking journey isn't it for fudge sake okay right well that's another photo for the photo album i'm getting a few i'm getting a few just in case something happens but not only that that looked freaking great okay well we've flown out of there you know what i'm gonna get one more photo of my experience inside of the atlas because just in case i ever have to show my mumsy where i've been yeah lovely jobs anyhow let's head on down to the space station and uh we're, we're, actually, am i gonna go to the space station or am i gonna go to the planet behind it i can't make up my mind at this point but i think we're going to go into the actual station oh hello there champ have you got anything i can buy from you i i could do with some chromatic metal you got any no but what you do have is antimatter now if i buy that then i don't have to use my chromatic metal to go and freaking make some do i brilliant yes well i have all of them thank you thank you very much you know what i'm gonna craft some freaking warp fuel because i bet you i'm gonna do a few jumps to get to places you know this is an infinite freaking universe i've got to explore the dang thing let's fly back inside of here let's just get that sorted on the fly there we go chicka boom i've now got eight of you my little morsel of warp fuel is lovely jubbly awesome Right, oh, uh, now what? I've got to use my long distance scanner, but I could do with, I could do with being able to jump further and better with my warp drive. Exo, would you be able to make it so maybe I could install a couple of upgrades just for free? I know it's cheating, but I haven't got any emerald and I can't be asked to find some. Can you give us the ability to maybe install, sir? Captain Steve, since you've done all this before, I don't mind aiding you in your quest, but you should really learn these things rather than take these shortcuts. But yes, activate a mondo. Oh, I love it. He said activate a mondo. He's picking up my freaking lingos. This is great. Artificial intelligence. Well, it's not really, is he? Because he's just a copy of the actual maker of the simulation. I think he sort of told me off a little bit there for doing this. You know what? I'm going to try to avert doing this as often as possible. I think I've done it enough now. So um, I won't ask you to activate that cheat mode again, Exo, unless I get severely stuck and it's a matter of life or death or um, savouring of boredom of the Viewerverse. But yes, awesome. So I've got that in. I've put in one upgrade. I wonder if I can buy an upgrade up here. So yes, thank you, Exo. You can now put it back into relaxed mode from the creative. Brilliant. Lovely jubbly. Coolio. And I'm pressing on, people in the universe. So let's head on up here. Let's go and have a look at the ship vendor. Let's see if I can buy some sort of warp upgrade using these nanites I've been saving up all this time. Hello there, my little friend. How are you? Brilliant. Oh, you've got a lovely little droid in the background over there. I want one of those. That's quite cool, my little drone. Okay, okay. That's now just used up pretty much all of my nanites. Brilliant. Okay. I could have done with leaving that on a little bit longer, that cheap mode, couldn't I? Oh, well. We live and learn. Right, well, if I put that there, I've got adjacency bonus. I'm on 352. I wonder if I can push that up a number or two by switching it up a bit. We'll have a look when we get inside the ship, shall we, people? There we go. Yes, my radiant pillar. Let's move this up there. One second. Let's move that there. Does that do any better? 359. Okay, just moving a little bit. Gave me a little squidge, a little movement there. You see that? Yes, lovely. So have a play with your technologies before you just fly out the door. Righto, brilliant. And we're following the Atlas path, I think. 
amidst the stars. Help Artemis. That was that little holographic dude, wasn't it? Well, I've already been inside of the Atlas once, and I've managed to move that forwards. A tad. But I need chromatic metal. And I should have bloody got some while I had that creative mode on, shouldn't I? Darn it and blast it. Okay, you live and learn. All right, well, I can't just ask Exo to do that. It's, and it's not, I want to try and keep this fun for you guys. That's all I'm thinking. Right, let's head to the hollow terminus. And while I'm at the hollow terminus, I'll go and find some more copper. Yes, I will. And I'll dig some copper out the ground. You've already seen me dig copper out the ground, so I might cut the footage. But I'll go get some copper so I can make some bloody chromatic metal. But first, let's make our way up this holographic terminal and um yeah we're gonna hit this one up so hope i don't know why we have to go to a hollow terminus when we obviously can get holograms appearing on our freaking dashboard you know let's just hope that this one's got a more stable connection and we don't get any of that bullshit going on so we can actually see what's going on shall we chums out there in the view of us right well let's head on up here and um yeah okay brilliant. oh i like the lights on the steps oh it lit up for me oh what a lovely staircase this is i don't know what those rails are attached to but just ignore that that was a little bit defiant of gravity wasn't it somewhat okay and uh, let's stick this into there and let's start turning the copper that i do got into chromatic metal right now so i'm doing two things at once lovely i love it awesome and let's head on up this little staircase ladder whatever you want to call the dang thing it's a bloody ladder well it, it kind of is a ladder and it kind of isn't it isn't it isn't it? it's a bit of a weird one isn't it it's like a rope ladder without the freaking rope it's like laser cannon like damn ladder yeah laser cannon ladder awesome i've just named something i can't upload that okay let's let's interact with this and stick the sodium in there chicka pow pow chicka boom boom all right okay hollow terminus is activated yes yeah, awesome if this does come up with a load of kazert stuff in it then i really honestly don't see the point in it because you know I, I already had this going on great inside my ship Okay, right, so jump up here then. And hopefully we're going to get a clear message from this chap. Holy fudge! Okay, well, this is actually, actually cool. Look, there's all little benches around him and everything. So, yeah. He, he keeps saying that he's in a cave in darkness, but it looks like he's living in lavish luxury to me, people out there in the view of us. So, yeah, is this guy telling the truth? Yeah, not, not too sure. Not too sure. And it looks like he's questioning my whole freaking reality. All right, mate. Okay, steady on. All right, let, let's just... Look, it's got freaking Kazart in there. We've still got bloody static. Oh, this is freaking ass biscuits, mate. No, this is like... Well, why? Why don't we just talk to him inside of our ship? It's no freaking better. The connection here is just as unfreaking stable. Okay, I find we're going to have this little dialogue with the little chap anyway. I do like his look, though. You know, I'm rocking that. I don't know whether it's a he or a she people out there in the universe. I mean, in Greek mythology, Artemis was a huntress. She was female. And yes, she was an awesome hunter. So who knows? Who knows what's going on? But I love the gnarly logo on your shoulder and that sort of like little scarf you got going on there. The little half-looped scarf thing, whatever you want to call it. I'm loving your fashion ensemble. Yeah, the thing on your arm's strange. Is that a multi-tool of some kind i don't know and you've got some very sort of antique looking gear on you and to hear that you've actually severed your connection to your exo unit because it was saying hideous stuff is is beyond me you know what the fudge is going on there your ai turn against thee it's it's a strange one it's a strange one it really is but yes i did find your crashed ship i did here we go have all my data you can have everything that i know about you so you can understand where i'm coming from full transparency my alien friend because you've got those eyes that i oh actually they're dead freaking black eyes that are as deep as night okay now i'm slightly terrified but yeah, I, I, fine, I gave him the data anyway, regardless, he, she. Right, okay, let's um, let's head on down. Yes, I, I, I have no idea what the pronouns would be for Artemis, to be honest, people. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Is Artemis male, female, or androgynous? I'm going to go androgynous, because I've got mixed feelings about the whole thing. Okay, right, I'm going to stick this down here, I think, people. So yeah, I'm going to put down a metal plate in and a cup and nano chip to make this gear. Not that it matters with Artemis' freaking gender, does it but it, it does kind of if you're referring to them as a he or a she all the time i could just say they couldn't i but you know yeah sorry to assume your gender <laughs> 
little computer generated person that doesn't care whether I did or didn't. Right, let's stick this down and let's uh, beam this up into the air. Signal booster, activate a mondo, triangulate in position. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Now, I've been watching this thing on TV, on Netflix, I should say, called altered carbon and it's freaking great it kind of plays into a lot of this in a roundabout way basically people can upload their consciousness to some sort of like chip that sits at the back of their neck and then they can swap their consciousness into different sleeves basically bodies people and you just swap their consciousness on the fly so you could be male one day and female the next if you wanted it's freaking weird but it's awesome at the same time it's it's like you're almost immortal anyway all i'm doing people right now inside of this footage even though i'm blabbering on on a weird tangent is just following the red marker the symbol yeah and i'm also getting some copper on the way as well peeps but I've cut that bit out because it's boring as fudge. Yes, but I'm going to those icons and I'm just simply putting down that signal booster like I just did at the hollow terminus. And you just got to do it three freaking times because that's how you triangulate a position. You got to put it in three different corners. Triangulate, funny enough. And yeah, from that you can get an actual reference point with the stars. So I'm hoping to match my stars with the stars that Artemis sees. And then we know roughly where Artemis is. Artemis is then going to send up some sort of flare or something or something I can see from space and hopefully I can go and pick Artemis up. That's the plan, chums! So here we go, that's now tri triangulated. We've got the data, now we just need to reference this to the stars. Now I'm not experienced at referencing to stars because as you can see I'm quite a new fledgling to this sort of shenanigans so I'm going to have to find myself some kind of star specialist I'd imagine. Artemis knows what they're doing though. There we go, I've got some more chromatic metal on the bay because we're doing this as well so let's take on off and let's go see if we can work out what we're going to do with this triangulated data people in the viewerverse coolio oh hold on i wonder if i could just go straight back to artemis and i give this data to artemis because artemis knows what they're doing with all this sort of data maybe artemis can just make sense of it and match it up to their data and everything's good oh hold on we've got a message coming in well, is it Artemis? Yes, it's Artemis. Artemis, I've got the freaking data. I've got it, mate. I've freaking got it. Don't you worry. Um, so, yeah. I, oh, get it down to the hollow terminus and upload. Yes, that's my way of thinking. Yeah, brilliant. We're not going to take this to a freaking specialist. Heck no. We're just going to take it straight to Artemis. Well, that saves a freaking shed ton of footwork, doesn't it? Right, well, where is this hollow terminus? Come on, throw me a freaking bone. There it is over there. Bone connected. We're on our way. I'm going to cut the footage, people. and We'll reconvene at the hollow terminus and I'm up the ladders brilliant I did try flying up here with my jetpack didn't work broke my legs really hurt but here I am awesome activator mondo boom lovely jubbly let's go and speak to good old Artie yeah, okay hello there Artie how is, how is they with your lavish furniture? Yeah, love your lavish furniture. It looks great, mate. Cool. I see you're making yourself at home. It's good to see. Yes, awesome. Oh, we've still got bloody static, though, haven't we? Okay, lovely. Okay, so, yeah, I can see your location. Well, now let's use that data to match up to this one, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, well, you've sketched the stars. Brilliant. Okay, I thought we was going to actually use technology for this, but there we go. Yeah, I, I did find your ship. It was very, very, very close by. All right, okay, so you're giving me some translator tech on your actual sketch for me to give to an... Right, we are going to have to go and find an individual, a specialist. Not only that, I've got to craft some freaking technology to help me do it. Fudge and heck, I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't be this easy. Right, okay, well, let's uh, get that installed then. Where the fudge is it inside of my... Where is it? Dang it! You could have put the thing that I need to build at the frickin' front. Okay, well, there it is, right at the bloody back. Right, cool. I need some more... Oh, damn it! I just turned all my copper into chromatic metal. And now I need bloody copper again. And I need a blinking microprocessor. So I'm probably have to go back to the station to get the microprocessor. So here we go. I've got the copper. You've seen me get copper a million and one times. Now I'm just at the station to buy myself a microprocessor. Where are you, microprocessor? Thank you very much. Got it. Lovely. There's some other bits and bobs I could probably buy up here that might come in handy. I'm sure I've seen phosphorus in a menu for some warp drivey stuff, but you know, let's just press on anyhow. So let's um let's put this into there. Chicka pow. Done. Right, we've got our translator tech. Now what do we need to do? 
Okay, bring news of Artemis to Nada in the space anomaly. Oh, hold on. No, we've got another mission pop up. I need to speak to aliens, but not just the ones in the station, because that would have been too freaking easy. I've got to fly down to the actual planet on, well, I've got to find an alien life form location on a planet. And not the planet that I thought it was on, but the planet that was hiding behind it, Planet Maxon. Okay, it's probably going to be something different for you if you're flying around in space, people, because you've got to think this is all procedural, isn't it? Well, procedurally placed. I don't think it's procedurally generated. I mean, yes, well, there's algorithms, but is that procedural? Maybe. Who knows? Anyhow, let's fly on down to here, because all of these seem to be fixed freaking assets that are copied and pasted rather than procedurally generated on the freaking fly. Right, okay, well, let's land here. Lovely jubbly. Yes, I'm starting to see the code that lies behind the matrix, people. I'm starting to see patterns in the stuff that we're seeing yes because I'm, I'm i'm eagle-eyed yes that's me right let's head on over to this beacon let's go and hit that up are we going to get some navigational data or are we going to get nanites watch the top right hand corner of the screen on the heads up display what are we going to get and mm, we got navigational data brilliant lovely and we got nanites oh lovely double whammy maybe i've been getting a double whammy all this time don't know right let's hit that up we've learned the word for is this is this is good, isn't it? Right, well, I can't get round there. Who freaking designed this shite? Okay, right, okay, maybe it is procedurally generated, because, come on, you know, a human wouldn't do this, would they? Hello there, welcome, my friend. How are you? Lovely jobs. Cool. Um, right, I've got a planetary tart. Lovely, cool. And I can't talk to you because you're in the way. Oh, look at you, you're both twins with dead eyes. Oh, my days. That is a little bit freaking creepy. Okay, fine. Coolio, coolio. Right, let's head on over to here then. And let's hit on up this on the wall. More nanites for me. Heck yes, and I'm stuck again. Right, cool. Let's just go around there and let's get the fudge out of Dodge. Okay. Yeah, I say Dodge because you had to dodge everything in there. Blinking like a jam sandwich. Yeah, jam packed. Righto, let's take on off. And uh, uh, I've done the scan. What else have we got to find? So that's talking to an alien on a planet. Like I say, I don't know why I couldn't have just spoke to some in the bloody station and calibrated this thing in one bloody place. Now I've got to find an ancient relic. And it says that hit the options button to see how you find an ancient plaque. It hasn't taken me straight into the menu to where I need to go. And with this new menu system, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. That bit of flavor text is not all that flavorful. I'm thinking it's under language because I'm learning language. No, look, I mean, it's not giving me any bloody tips on how to actually find this language, is it? So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do at this point. Exo, do you have any idea what I do right now, my friend? Captain Steve, you've been picking up some navigational data. I would suggest going to the station, speaking to the cartographer and picking up alien maps. One of the alien maps should point you to an ancient relic site or to an ancient plaque that may point you to an ancient relic site. Well, hokey pokey, piddly pokey, I'm up at the cartographer who's got a dustbin lid on his head as a hat because he thinks that's fashion. Well, fine, my little unfashionable friend. I would like to buy some alien charts from thee. I'm going to buy five because that ups my chances of finding what I'm after. Even though I was just given an alien chart. Oh, for fudge sake, I was just given one. I was given one down in the blinking. That's why I was given one. I bet you it finds the blinking plaque. It would be nice if it told you that in the freaking dialogue in the bottom right corner because now I've gone and freaking wasted some of my cartography navigational data on alien maps that I don't freaking need. I got surplus of the dang bloody thing. So there you go, people. Hopefully, when you go to point one, they give you a blinking map that pops up as you're doing the dialogues that you probably didn't notice. So there we go, people. There's a tip for you. You probably don't have to do what I just did, but just in case, that's how you can do it if you don't get given an alien map. Because I don't know whether that's freaking a feature or whether that's a thing or whether it's a bug or I don't know. Well, I'd right, fudge it. Well, you just saw what I bloody did. So if it doesn't work for you, you know what to do. Right. Well, let's go down and speak to this giant Xbox Series X. <laughs> Because that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Only fudge, it does look like a giant Xbox. But it wouldn't be gnarly if an Xbox did that. I'd buy an Xbox if it did this. Heck yes, I would. Seek help with language. Give me a word. Yes, lovely jobs. Okay, well, that counted as being an ancient relic. Brilliant. Well, that's cool. Now what? I've got to find myself... Oh, what am I doing now? 
Okay, well, I think I've got to find a monolith now, people. So actually, it was lucky that I got those extra maps. Let's see if I get a monolith. No, it's found another alien artifact detected. If it's this same bloody Xbox Series X that it finds, nope, it's found one over yonder hill. But that's not what I want. So no, that's not what I want. I would like a monolith. I wish you would just default to your exosuit when you're not in your starship. Why does it go to your starship inventory every time, even when you're on bloody foot on a planet away from your starship? Makes no bloody sense, that. Right, okay, awesome. I think it's now locked onto a monolith. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that one, is it? Oh, it is. It is that one. It is that one. It's that one. They're right next to each other. Okay, cool. Well, we go in there. We go into the monolith. I see you at the monolith, people. I'm probably going to cut the footage of me flying there because you know about flying. I just saw that cat kill that little sort of sort of hedgehog cross freaking spider monkey looking thing. Right. Well, let's head on over. How far is it? Oh, it's not far. You know, actually, I'm still going to cut the footage though because why the fudge not? Because I can. Awesome. We've arrived, located at the monolith. Okay, well, this is very Space Odyssey. I love this. I love this planet as well. Look at that giant freaking lit up shroom thing in the background there with like droplets of light hanging down from it. Freaking great. Okay, let's interact with all these post boxes. Let's learn some words. Ugh, a. I'm definitely getting all the shortest words ever. And, yeah, what's this one? It or something. Okay, right, brilliant. Let's, um, let's, okay, we've got a letterbox view there for a second. Do. Yeah, two letter words. Yeah, brilliant. Freaking great. Okay, let's get to the four letter ones. They're more interesting. Okay, brilliant. Let's um okay, what's this? Oh well I just I just hammered my buttons there. I didn't read the bloody stuff. So I'm gonna melt the ice. It's probably wrong. It's probably wrong. Probably gonna get told off and zapped with lightning or something. A great fun. Alright, I sh I should have saved beforehand. But then again, the auto saving, isn't it? Freaking great. Alright, uh, yeah, it disapproved. Nice. And my standing with the Gek has just dropped. Great. Let's just hope our star cartographer isn't a Gek. Because, yeah, they might say, Oh, you've not got enough reputation to talk to us. Knowing the Gek. All right, okay, brilliant. Let's uh, fly on over then. So we've done that. We've calibrated the translator. So I should be okay now to speak to these alien little critters and get these maps sort of, I don't know, translated. Right, uh, so it's not scanning on... Oh, we have. It's worked. I found it. Large outpost detected. Well, what's a large outpost when I'm at home? Oh, it's like a trade center of some kind. Brilliant. Lots and lots of landing pads. I like. I like a lot. This is a great place if you want a new ship, isn't it? It really is. Well, hello there. You've got some awesome eyebrows, my friend. Very nice. I like those. You know, that's pretty darn sweet. Oh, no, look. He says about my reputation rank isn't freaking high enough. Oh, for fudge's sake. Exo, how can, how can I... How can I... Actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea how to raise my reputational rank. Let's go and talk to these traders, because I'm fairly sure when I talked to that trader in space, he had, like, Gek relics on him. Right, let's see if we can buy some Gek relics from this guy. Offer to trade. Hello there, eyebrow matey. They've all got giant eyebrows in this system. I love it. Okay, right, okay. Um... Yeah, I just... I, how many can I afford? One! How oh, fudge. Well, that's only going to redeem what I blinking had momentarily ago. Let's sell some stuff and let's see if I can buy more than just bloody one. All right, okay, so we're heading on in and let's let's see if we can unlock something. I'll I, I give you my salvage data because I've unlocked everything there. We're using my cheat menus. It doesn't matter. Let's sell that then. What else can I sell? I can sell the dehydrogen because I can just shoot the planet and get loads more of that. Yeah, that's an idea. And I could sell the cobalt. I haven't needed that yet, but I might need it in future. But there we go. I think we're about out good lovely cool and now i bought a couple more gek relics is that enough we shall see if not i just have to come and sell some more stuff i guess righto and uh let's talk to this individual let's see if we can give some away right can i give you a gek re i can give you a gek relic does that enhance my reputation with you my little snail-eyed friend yes it does awesome right it does look like his eyes have grown out of his face there that does look rather sinister doesn't it those eye stalks they kind of look like you know your optical nerve is, is sort of prolapsed mate it's um it's it's the stuff of nightmares let's, let's face it okay let's see if that's done enough okay, i think my reputation is now high enough for you to help right is not happy with me because I didn't breathe in your gas. I, I don't know where this gas has come from. Which orifice on your person did this gas emanate, my friend? Because I don't really want to take a lungful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that blob in your hand could be growing in my freaking lung cavity, to be honest. But anyway, you've done your job. This is great. But um, 
yeah, my data is fabricated. No, this came from a little scribble that my mate did in the holotope. Yeah, okay, you could be right. You could be onto something there. Yeah, he, he did use a pencil and freaking his eyeballs to do this stuff. Yeah, and, and then I go and equate it to your, your vast knowledge of the stars. Right, fine. Yeah, uh, that didn't go well, did it? Well, apologies made. Let's fly on back up and let's tell Artemis the good news that his scribble was shite. Okay, maybe he could do a pop-up version or something. I don't know. But anyhow, we're going to have to go back to him and tell him that his, his artistic talents look fabricated and look like jumbled up chicken mess on a page. Okay, this is, this is going to go well. I'm just upsetting people this episode, haven't I? You know? So yeah, everybody I've to spoken to, it's, it's been it's been a real hollow terminus type experience. <laughs> See what I did there? Hello, Artemis. Yes, yes. So I've, I've got your data, but you know what, mate? I think something might be wrong. Um, this uh, it's all fa it, 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 yeah. It basically you said that your drawing's naff. I can't put it in simpler terms. Okay, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it should be an easy thing, you know. Are you sure your drawing was right? Yeah, you are. Great, okay. And you say that the stars have now changed location. Uh, okay, I'm just getting static again. I'm getting static, so, I, yeah. I, I really don't know. I don't know what our next steps are. You know what, let me go talk to Nada in the space station and see if he can make some sense of this. And I might even ask a good old Exo what his thoughts are. After I've gone and spoke to Nada. Okay, yeah, just hide. Freaking hide. Okay, yeah, yeah. how did you get there? It, you went through a portal and you ended up in some sort of gateway between worlds. You know, this information, this information would have been freaking vital to finding you earlier. This whole triangulating stuff, I could have said to you, you know what, you're in a freaking different realm. And, and I'm probably never going to be able to find you because I haven't even gone to a bloody portal, my friend. If I could find which portal you went into, maybe I could activate that and maybe get you out somehow by throwing in a line and saying, follow the light, follow the light, carry on. You know, who knows? Yeah, 16, worn on their face. Right, this is just freaking hide. Hide until I can get back to you because I've got another guy hitting me up now called Apollo. Right, let's... um. Let's, oh, I think I need to just call in the blinking atlas. Let, I mean, not the atlas. I, I, I need to call in the spatial anomaly. And we need to go and speak to Nada. Yeah, I don't think speaking to the atlas is going to do me any good. I'm fairly sure the atlas would be a little bit troubled that I'm playing about with portals, to be honest. But let's head on up here. And let's go to speak to Nada and see what Nada's got to say. Yes, I'm going to tell you about the portal. I'm going to tell you everything I know. My little freaking Darth Punky and mate. Yeah, freaking crazy stuff. So now that I keep going to these strange monoliths and other sorts of data platforms that are strange. I mean, who built the freaking things? You know, who built the monoliths? Who built these ancient plaques? I've got so many blinking questions, Nada. So, and where did the Atlas come from? I mean, actually, I'm thinking about it as part of the actual simulation. But you keep saying it's a false entity and a trap and all sorts of other stuff. And this Apollo isn't known to you. It is very curious, my little friend. Yes, the Rampton Crimson is the work of the Atlas falsity. Yeah, mate, yeah, I don't know. I went and saw the Atlas. I mean, it did demand a few things off of me, which was a little bit weird. But, you know, I came out of there unscathed, basically. And with a new recipe of how to craft something that I don't know what it is. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm, the jury's out for me on the old Atlas. But I make my own mind up, my little sort of Daft Punkian mate. Anyhow, talking of which, I think what I really need to do is converse with freaking Exo and find out what I do next. But I'm just crafting a little bit more chromatic metal to make the thing that the freaking Atlas wanted. But yes, Exo, this is troubling me a little. What shall I do? Shall I help this Artemis or should I just press on with the Atlas path? Captain Steve, this is a simulation that repeats itself over and over. You have rescued and not rescued Artemis countless of times. I'm very sorry, but if I was yourself, I would just push on with the Atlas path. Unless you get to a point where you need to go to a planet, then it's up to you whether you want to continue your ventures and efforts to rescue Artemis once more. A repeating freaking simulation type loop, you say, Exo. So this means maybe I've done this countless times, like you just said I freaking did. So how many times has my memory been wiped? This is getting rather squiffy, people in the viewer verse. Don't you agree? Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. 
And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.